Sure. Perfect. Okay. So they can. Okay. Very good. Um, we have a few faculty families that have treats the Ackenbergers, Carters, Garcias, Greens, Hill, Morgan, Norcross, Sandvik, Sheridan, Teal. Um, if you're in the Wallace faculty family, you can see Dean Nelson, uh, Warren, and Webster. And I think I got them all. I don't know if I'm missing anyone. Um, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that it's home leave. We get to go home soon and enjoy um, an elongated home leave, and we praise you for that. I pray, Lord, now before we go that you would give us focus, and um, as I share this thought that you have put on my, on my heart, I pray that it would be received well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. When I visited the beautiful country of South Africa, I uh, had the privilege of going to um, Kruger National Park. And at Kruger, we had the opportunity to go on a, on a kind of like a safari ride where going out into the wild and seeing wild animals in their natural habitat. And we were looking for the big five, and one of the big five, the big five animals, one of the big five was the lion. And we got to see lots of lions. But at one point, a bunch of people started snapping pictures and I'm looking, and I have no idea what they're snapping pictures of. And so I asked, what are you guys snapping pictures of? And they said, yeah, the lion's right there. They're so close. And I really couldn't see them. And uh, if you could put up pictures, lions are so camouflaged that both of those pictures have lions in them. And they're so camouflaged with the grass, especially in the dry season like that, that they're very, very difficult to see. Sometimes we think, uh, when, when we read this text in 1 Peter 5, 8, the Bible says, be sober or, and be vigilant. In other words, be careful, be on guard, be on watch. And the reason is because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. The point of showing you this picture is that the devil doesn't just show up and say, hey, I'm right here, I'm going to give you a temptation. The devil is much more subtle than that in the way that he approaches temptation. Um, I'm going to have the guys uh, shift to showing you a video, and um, it's a video, it's a YouTube video, it has, it's not a Christian video at all, <laughs> um, but we're going to draw something from this video, maybe, maybe you've seen it before. If anyone is familiar with um, Scott Mayer from um, Little Light Studios, he used this as an example in one of his messages, and wow. So we're going to show that for a few moments, and then I'll have some closing remarks. We'll, we'll definitely want to uh, hear. So, yeah, if you guys could start over, that'd be great. I know, I know that they know that. I'm just, but it's important to hear what they're saying at the beginning. While they're pulling that up with sound, let me ask you this question. How many of you believe that, um, well, how many of you have experienced that you're scrolling through your social media feed and you're seeing things that you were talking about at home? Like, for example, if you're talking about um, pet supplies, all of a sudden the advertisement on your social media feed is about pet supplies. Has anyone ever experienced that? Okay. Um, you, whenever you guys play it, it's good. I'll stop talking. Have you guys ever experienced that um, when you're looking up something on, online, when you go to different websites, the advertisements on the side bar there are exactly what you were looking days, up? You don't have to be okay, so go ahead. These days, you don't have to be a doctor or a magician to have power over people. Social media can give anyone the ability to influence the masses, and that influence can be quite profitable. 
So to find out if I have what it takes to be an influencer, I enlisted the help of three social media celebrities with over six million combined followers. Meet Griffin. What's up, you guys? Ditto. Hey, guys. And Andrew. Hey, guys, it's Andrew. What's up, vlog? We met at the World of Fruit, a selfie lover's paradise, for a lesson in influencing. So listen, I thought maybe we could scroll through my feed a little bit. Maybe you can give me some tips. For sure. Let's okay. do it. Yeah. I asked them to be honest with me, and I regretted it immediately. What's the cover of this? Cover. Is it intriguing? Is it captivating? Are you getting an audience from it? Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. Okay. How's this? It's a hot day. Ice Ice Baby for yeah. that? Yeah. Remember that song? I do, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'd say we look tray chic, right? Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> he loves swings. My caption idea was, uh, you are getting very sleepy. <laughs> they did not hold back. This is kind of creepy. <laughs> caption is, uh, nothing like a tray of cold ones. Well, it looks just... a little forced, but, like, it's not to the point where it's like, oh, you know? Oh. There was a lot of constructive criticism. I don't know if I love the filter. Yeah, the filter, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And some not so constructive. And my caption was, he's channeling his inner Gallagher. For your age demographic, I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered, does being an influencer mean that you are less susceptible to being influenced? Yes. Interesting. Did you guys notice the uh, red cloth behind yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. I was here a week ago, took a selfie. Oh. I'll give you guys a little peek here. Just wanted to, you know, Is wet your ad? appetite. Well, basically, it's going to be my first endeavor at being an influencer. Okay. Speaking of which, since these guys get paid to promote products, I posed a challenge. I gave them 50 unglamorous items to choose from. Gravy boat, toilet paper, whatever this is. <laughs> and gave them free reign of 20 different selfie-licious rooms to snap a pic. Before I showed them my magic, I wanted to see them work their magic. I'm gonna give you guys five <laughs> minutes to start now. Have at it. Okay, that's not fun. Selfie six down, come on back. Thanks. Nice. Was it fun? It yeah, was... it was a blast. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. Difficult. I had a lot of fun. All right, you probably have hundreds of photos on your roll right now. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So here's what I'd like you guys to do is each of you scroll through everything you just took and pick one photo with one product in one location that you think would make the most unique Instagram post, okay? Add a hashtag to it. Don't let each other see. And then you're all going to post at the exact same time, okay? Ready? Post. Phones down. Is the suspense killing you guys? I want to see it. Yes. Before we get to that, I'm just curious. Um, raise your hand if you chose a pick with the stapler. Yeah. Hemorrhoid donut. First aid tape. A sexy coat hanger. Raise your hand if you chose the ice cube tray. Wait. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Um, I have questions. Wait. <laughs> Hold Wait, on a second. <laughs> Let's see. Of the many places to take a photo here, raise your hand if you posted a pic in front of the mirror wall, the disco pineapple, big banana. Raise your hand if you chose to take a picture on the watermelon swing. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the posts? Yes, you can. can I? Show each other. I don't like this. Go. Wait, are you kidding me? Yeah, what? I'm, I'm just, sorry. I'm sorry. How does this... <laughs> Wait, but that's... Like... Yeah, that's so interesting. <gasps> it is interesting, yeah. Because you're I was here a week ago and I took I a bet, picture. Yeah, you were. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it really was influencer worthy, but turns out it was. Okay. No. The ice cube tray on the watermelon swing in front of my face the hashtag was Trey Cool. What were your hashtags? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Trey Cool. I'm shook it. Well, I bet you have the same question they have. So my question is how? The answer is simple. I wasn't here to take a lesson in influencing. I was here to teach it. Do you think that you are less susceptible to being influenced? Yeah. Love swings. Swing, swing. You are getting.
getting very sleepy. <laughs> I'd say we look trashy, right? Very cool. Cool, cool. Is it intriguing? Is it captivating? Nothing like a tray of tray old ones. Ice Ice Baby for yeah. that? Yeah! This is kind of creepy. My caption was, he's channeling his inner Gallagher. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Why are you in my brain? Mm. How does it feel to be influenced? <laughs> All right, that's good. Thank you. Okay. So, why are you in my brain? You heard that last uh, comment. I don't, I don't like this, they kept saying. I, I don't like you at one point. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't think any of us really like to be told what to do. And I don't think any of us really like to be manipulated. Is that an accurate statement? And yet we allow ourselves to be influenced and manipulated every time we go on social media. Do you guys re recognize that? Do you realize that? Um, 100 plus years before Instagram came out, a little lady by the name of Ellen White wrote this. It's a special work of Satan in these last days to take possession of the minds of the youth, to corrupt their thoughts, and inflame their passions. All, all the young people, are free moral agents, and as such, they must bring their thoughts to run in the right channel. If Satan seeks to divert the mind from this to low and sensual things, bring it back again and place it on eternal things. And when the Lord sees the determined effort made to retain only pure thoughts, he will attract the mind like the magnet and purify the thoughts. I don't know about you, but I would much rather be influenced by God's power and by his influence and the word of God than I do by people who are manipulating me and using me to sell or to propagate information or products or whatever the case may be. Um, I would recently watched uh, The Social Dilemma, which is a documentary on social media. Um, I also was recommended to watch a video called Look Up by Gary Turk this morning. It's six minutes. It's on YouTube about our addictions to our phones. And I share all this with you not because I don't have an Instagram. I do have an Instagram. I actually like Instagram. I like it a lot, like many of you do. And I spend, sometimes I spend too much time on my Instagram, like many of you do. We're about to go into home leave. We're going to be home for almost a week, five days. And I guess my challenge to all of us, notice the pronoun, myself included, is to really be cautious and be careful about how we spend our time. We're going to have more time over the next five days than we have over the last three weeks. Free time, time to do as we wish time to do as we please. How are you going to use your time? And how will you be influenced this home leave? Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity and the privilege and the blessing it is to have a home leave. We also thank you, Lord, that we may surrender our um, issues and our, and our influences to you, and you can shape and mold those. We're ins inspired here by Ellen White in reminding us that if we even, if you see that we, we're um, putting in effort to purify our thoughts, that you will really bless that and you'll draw us to you like a magnet. I pray that that would be our experience this home leave. Lord, I pray that you would bless us with safety as we head off and cover many, many hundreds and thousands of miles collectively. Pray that you'll protect us, be with the vehicles, keep them in good working condition and bring us back safely on Sunday so that we may reunite and continue to enjoy the blessing of Great Lakes Adventist Academy. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You're dismissed. <laughs>